coming to unit 3 previously as we discussed energy resources electricity bill and safety measure is the unit 3 in the previous we studied about non-conventional and conventional energy sources renewable and non-renewable what are the examples similarly layout of operation of various power generating systems we studied Heidel you can check the link in description or playlist now we go for nuclear power generation one of the nuclear power generation it is the non conventional energy source the nuclear materials which are available in earth let us see that solar and wind power generation after that we will see electricity bill electricity bill for home appliances definition what is one unit one unit in the sense one kilowatt hour one kilowatt power utilized for one hour is called one unit Similarly to tariff, electricity rate at which electricity is selling, that is called electric tariff. The rate at which electrical energy is consumed by the customers, that is called electrical tariff. Calculation of electricity bill will see. Similarly, equipment safety measures we will see in this chapter. Previously, we studied the recap is energy. What is energy? What are sources? conventional and non-conventional energy sources we studied previously now we go for another type of energy nuclear energy these are all over you can check the Heidel hydro power plant the block diagram you can check in description now we go for layout and operation of nuclear power generation nuclear power how to generate the power plant the a generating station which uses nuclear energy nuclear reaction we are using nuclear materials we are using to produce heat the produced heat converted into steam after that thermal power plant how it works similar to that it will work a nuclear power plant is heat energy generated by nuclear reaction called nuclear fission it is the nuclear materials uranium thorium these are how does a nuclear power plant work heavy elements such as uranium thorium are available in earth crust those are subjected to nuclear fission in reactor nuclear reactor due to fission large amount of heat energy will be produced large amount of heat energy will be produced which can transform to the reactor coolant that is water water will be evaporated and steam will be produced as the coolant may be water or gas or liquid or any metal the heated coolant is made flow through heat exchanger while where water is converted into high temperature steam this steam is allowed to drive the steam turbine this steam is allowed to drive the steam turbine after that it will be converted into electricity the turbine coupled to alternator or generator ac generator then the nuclear power plant generates power a power plant which uses nuclear energy converted into electrical energy is called nuclear power plant. In nuclear power plant, LV elements such as uranium, thorium are subjected to nuclear fission and special operators in the special operators called nuclear reactor. In the nuclear reactor, we are placing uranium, thorium and fission and fusion reaction is happen in the nuclear reactor. Then this is the nuclear reactor because it is a shielded one because enormous gases and heat produces therefore it will be shielded without any leakage it will be shielded nuclear power plant the whole arrangement can be divided into various st stages one is nuclear reactor and heat exchanger this is the heat exchanger coolant will come heat will be transferred heat exchanger after that steam turbine this steam will fall on the blades of the turbine that blades rotates because of high pressurized steam after that it is connected to alternator it's a ac generator which will generate ac voltage the cooling after that the steam will be go to cooling tower cooling tower cools the steam and again condenser will cool the water high pressure steam water will be again pumped to this plant nuclear reactor 
is a pressure vessel it is a pressurized vessel and houses fuel rod and uranium and controlling rods and controlling rods the fuel rods constitute fission material and this can release huge amount of energy heat energy which bombarded with slow moving slow moving neutrons the control rods are consist of cadmium and are inserted into the reactor cadmium is a strong nucleum absorber neutron absorber cadmium rods are neutron absorber and thus it regulates the supply of neutrons for fission when control rods are pushed in deep then absorb the most of the fission materials and hence few are available for chain reaction will happen in the nuclear fission next is heat exchanger in heat exchanger the water will be converted into steam the water will be converted into steam passing the gases into the surface of the tubes next steam turbine it is a device which converts steam energy into mechanical energy rotational energy or mechanical energy when high pressure steam fallen on the turbine blades the rotor will rotate and rotate mechanical energy will be produced next is condenser a condenser is a device which converts steam into water the converted water again fed back to the heat exchanger again fed back to the heat exchanger and another is alternator or ac generator you know that alternator generates directly alternating current the construction of alternator consists of stator and rotor stator having armature winding from the stator we are giving the taking the supply this is about nuclear reactor let us see various parts nuclear reactor is a special apparatus used to perform nuclear fission nuclear fission since the nuclear fission is radioactive it must be sealed because this radioactive gases are liberated the whole enormous weight will be splitted to splitting of nuclei into heavy atoms is called nuclear fission during the which huge amount of energy will be released how much of energy will be reduced means 1 kg of coal 1 ton of coal if you burn amount amount of heat what is the amount of heat produces that equal to 1 kg of nuclear material 1 kg equal to 1 ton of coal that much of heat will be produces next is reactor two types of reactors widely used in nuclear reactor one is pressurized water reactor pwr and boiling water reactor bwr in this reactor uses regular water water as a coolant whereas in this type of reactor only coolant loop is present the water is allowed to boil in the reactor the coolant water is kept very high pressure so that it does not boil the heated water is transferred to heat exchanger where water from secondary coolant top is converted into steam heat exchanger steam turbine alternator condenser coming to solar power plant everybody knows that solar power plant how it works nowadays in every village every cities every college also we have solar power plant on the top because it's a renewable energy amount of heat will be produces most amount of heat will be produces from the sun that cannot be conventional that cannot be reduced but in night time it will be reduced what is the advantage disadvantage of solar power plant is solar power generation doesn't happen in night time it is also called photovoltaic power plant because pv cells we are using photovoltaic cells we are using in power plant in solar plant uses solar energy produce solar energy used to produce electrical energy in solar power plant is also known as photovoltaic power plant because pv panels we are using to produce electrical energy the major components of solar power plants are pv panel solar panel is called pv panel charge controllers because charge will be produces from pv panel that should be controlled charge controller dc link these are the charge controllers battery inverter these are the main parts of solar power plant photovoltaic principle is silicon is the most commonly used material for solar cells silicon is a semiconducting material semiconductor material which show 
photoelectric properties like cadmium, gallium, arsenic, etc. PV panel. PV panel is a device which is used to convert solar energy into electrical energy. PV panels. PV panels consist of so many cells of silicon semiconducting material. Whenever light is fallen, whenever light is fallen on the panel, a voltage will be generated. Panel is most important component of solar power plant. You can see without this panel, solar energy cannot be generated. According to capacitor power plant, a number of power plants, number of solar panels will be used. Group of panels is known as photovoltaic array. A group of panels it is called photovoltaic array. Next is charge controller. Charge controller. Inverter it is. Charge controller used to control the charging and discharging of the battery. Actually, charge controller used to a charge controller used to control the charging and discharging of battery. The controller used to avoid overcharging, overcharging of the battery. Battery, how if it is a highly charged, then the battery maybe gets a base damages. The overheating of the battery may lead to corrosion and reduce the plate growth also. Hence, the battery consists of inside plates and charging materials therefore we need charge controller there are many types of technology used to make charge controller for example most popular technique is MPPT technique maximum power point tracking is the algorithm that is used to produce maximum power to optimize production of PV cells maximum power point tracking is used next is inverter Inverter, what is the purpose of inverter? You know rectifier AC to DC, it will convert. But inverter, oppositely to that, it will convert. The input of solar panel is in the form of DC. The output of solar panel is DC. But we use AC, therefore we need to convert DC to AC. The most of the load connection between power system to power system network is AC. Therefore, we need to convert DC power to AC power. For that, we need inverter. Inverter is used in solar power plants. In uh, houses also we are using inverter. Whenever power is off, the inverter converts the inverter converts energy DC into AC energy. Transformer we can use in AC, but we can't use in DC. Therefore, battery is required in solar power plants. Charge controller, system balancing component, voltage regulator. Solar plants, the output of solar plant depends on sunlight, hence sunlight is not constantly available. We use output of solar panel is also varying with respect to sunlight. The fluctuations on the load current used to regulate the voltage, we are using voltage regulator. Which one we can use? GNR voltage regulator we can use. There are so many types of power plants, standalone and grid connected system. Suppose in your home, if you are using without any connection to grid, grid means interconnection of various substations and whatever the power is generated, if you transfer to government, then it is a grid connected system. Grid is the interconnection of various substations. Solar power also one of the substation. Solar power is a generating station. It has also some substation, a power, solar power plant, every solar power plant is a one consists of one substation. Like that, so many substations connected, it is a grid. Standalone system, independent of power plant. It connected with the grid. It can it not connected with the grid. Standalone system. Whereas charge controller, battery, input, inverter, two loads in a home only, like that. Standalone system categorized as so many types. It is not required. PV array supply for DC loads directly we can supply. Next, PV array, charge controller, battery, DC loads. We can directly standalone system, AC and DC loads means we have to use inverter. There are so many advantages of solar power plant. This solar power plant has advantage, clean and renewable energy source, one of the advantages. The life of the solar power plant is very high because uh, 20 years maximum lifespan will be solar panels. It does not produce any noise, no pollution, easily maintenance, no uh, very less maintenance are required, panels are correct or not, cables are damaged, and fuses are blown or not, we have to check. This will happen 
you know advan disadvantage is installation cost of solar panel is very high efficiency is very less because only 12 hours the power will be converted remaining sun will not available on the earth like that solar power plant works in the next we can see wind power plant how it works